Made a lot of people happy. Benefited everybody in some shape, form, or fashion. If you shop online and beats going to the damn store, you do it right there at home on your computer. You own websites. You generate enough money from advertising and selling memberships or whatever you got going on, it beats going to the nine to five. Okay? Like I said, everybody benefit from having the internet some shape, form, or fashion. Okay? I think we can all agree on that shit. Alright? Rather if you agree with it, if you don't agree with nothing that I said in all my videos, I think you probably agree that everybody has benefited from the internet one way or the other. Okay? Now, what would you have, what would you do if the internet shut down? Hmm? What would you do if your computer shut down? Shit just stopped working. I talked about electromagnetic pulse. You back up your data like you should. If it's valuable to you, you have family videos, family photos, and stuff like that, you better back it up. I ain't that backing it up onto another hard drive ain't gonna do you no damn good. Alright? It ain't. A hard drive is fragile, like I told you. Back it up to a DVD and quality DVD media. Okay? Quality. But if you can afford, you know, uh, a magneto, uh, type backup media, then go with that. Okay? Or right, you can afford tape. Go with that. Yes, I said tape, motherfucker. Yes. Just like an audio tape back in the 80s. You can back up computer data to a tape. Okay? A tape cartridge. The, one of the most expensive fucking backup mediums that you can buy. Okay? A lot of people don't know this shit. Alright? Tape is the best fucking backup media that you can buy. Alright, look something like this. This, this is a, a, what you call an LTO cartridge, okay? I use these. I have to have the best to back my shit up, alright? LTO, linear tape open. Not many people use this. This is what the, 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 the corporates use, okay? Banks and shit, alright? LTO tape cartridges, the best, all right? You can afford one of these, run, run you about $30, $40, but the drive will run you between, shit, if you get a used drive, you, you might pay $500 for it. You get a new drive, depending on what type it is, it can run you up to $10,000, okay? But this beats a hard drive, okay? It's cheaper than a hard drive in the long run, simply because if you go buy a, 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 this is a 500 gigabyte hard drive, okay? And that goddamn hard drive, you know, start clocking out and shit. Or you just have, having to drop it or, or whatever. All your data gone instantly, okay? It's gone. If you got moisture or, or, or whatever the case may be, it's gone. A hard drive. It's not reli as reliable as a tape cartridge. Tape has been tested and proven, okay? Will stood the test of time, all right? This one of these guarantee you a 30 year shelf life, okay? Meaning they can sit on the shelf for 30 goddamn years and you can pop it into the drive and pull, start pulling that off of it, just like that. You let a hard drive sit up for 10 years and don't use it. Guess what? You, you fire it up, if it's spin up, if it's spin up, when you plug it in or hook it up, you ain't no guarantee that you're going to be able to pull that off of it. Same thing with a goddamn DVD, a cheap DVD, all right? I know what the fuck I'm talking about, okay? Go with, if you can afford, let me tell you the best DVDs to get, hands down. Get, not Blu-ray, fuck that, that ain't been tested long enough. Okay? Don't go with that. Don't go with no goddamn uh, double, uh, what they call it, a dual, or whatever. The, 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 um, 
the 8.5, the DVD 9, okay? Dual layer DVDs. Go with the DVD RAM, alright? DVD RAM. Hands down, that's guaranteed for a hundred years. It can shit up, sit on the shelf for a hundred goddamn years. I would say 80 at its best. Alright? 80 years. Hands down. Go with some. They're a little bit more expensive, but it ain't expensive as the tape cards, depending on how much data you got to back up. But don't let your family photos and videos sit on a fragile media and, you know, some bad shit happen and it's gone. If it gets stolen, it's gone. Okay? Let me tell you something. If the U.S. go into, you know, total uh, collapse, they're going to be grabbing people's cell phones. They're doing that shit at checkpoints right now. They're going to be grabbing your goddamn cell phone and downloading all your contacts and shit into a database. All right? They're going to be snatching hard drives out of computers left and right if they come raiding houses and shit okay that's something to keep in mind if you go if you buy computers okay from certain companies all right that need to liquidate their shit and all of that it just, they just doing an upgrade they want to get rid of the old shit guess what if they sell you a computer that computer more than likely ain't gonna have no damn hard drive in it you want to know why Simply because it's it's a it's a basically what it is. They don't want anybody pulling data off the hard drive if they leave it in there. Just because you erase shit off a hard drive, that don't mean that the data is gone. All right, you have to do you have to overwrite the data on a hard drive with some what they call a dummy data. All right inject zeros and ones and shit in there, alright? But just to delete something and say, oh, it's off the hard drive, uh-uh, it ain't off there. It's still on there. So they say, fuck it, we gonna do it the same way, just, just the same way they shred paper, okay? They don't just ball it up and throw it in the goddamn trash can, they shred it. They shred the hard drives also, okay? They shred the hard drives from hackers. Alright? Now, that's one thing to keep in mind of being prepared. Just on that alone. Alright? Food, ammunitions, you already know. There's plenty of videos on that stuff. Alright? Plenty. Okay? Now, you can be prepared. Okay? as much as possible but there'll be a lot of shit coming at you to throw you off a little bit alright the brothers out there I want to talk to you for a minute alright you know we go through a lot of shit living in this society white dominated society we go through a lot of shit but a black woman can take us through even more a lot of shit, okay? Okay? The black woman. Not all of them, but the majority of them. The majority of them. And, you know, it ain't like you can really talk to a sister about preparing for shit. Not, not many of them. They think you fucking crazy. Or some bullshit like that or whatever. Or they just don't give a fuck. They'll be more inter interested about some dumb bullshit that ain't gonna mean nothing when the economy collapses. Okay, when we go into straight up martial law, when motherfuckers get popped, all right, without a uh, without a damn uh, trial, fair trial anyway, get arrested and thrown in a damn uh, camp, get tortured, or you get popped right there on the damn spot. We getting there. We, we there somewhat, but it's going to be 
you know, full blown totalitarianism, if I'm saying it correctly. Okay? But anyway, being prepared is is very, very important. You by you being black, you're gonna have to prepare even more. Alright? You're gonna have even more weight on you. And the goddamn black woman, she gonna that right there is going to be a hard, hard thing. Alright? She used to having things. She used to having a weight. Okay? Just make sure you got a woman that's understanding. Alright? That you ain't got to be fucking arguing with when the shit hit the fan. You tell her ass to go do something, she need to go and do it. And I sit up there and ask you all kinds of questions of some bullshit like that. Carry you all through. You got to go play merry-go-round to get what the fuck you asked for. Alright? You shouldn't have to do that. You shouldn't have to do that shit right now. But even more so, when the shit hit the fan. Okay? That kind of shit can get you killed. Alright? If you prepared and you steady arguing with her, she steady being a thorn in your ass. Okay? Stressing you out. Your mind, you ain't gonna be fit. Okay? To do the things that you need to do. Alright? To survive. Cause she gonna be bringing you through some fucking changes. Alright? Make sure you get a woman that's gonna be straight up obedient when the shit hit the fan. Okay? None of that bullshit. None of the bullshit. I'm telling you. Brothers, you need to get your woman in line. Okay? If you got one, get her ass in line. Plain and simple. Get her in fucking line. You know, we don't know what it's really like to have uh, the things that a black woman have, to have the privileges that she has. Okay? We don't fucking know that shit. We the underdog in this society. The black woman ain't the underdog in this society. She's not. You got the white man. You got the white woman. Then follow the black woman. Then come everybody else. And we the bottom. We on the bottom. We the last on that fucking list. Okay? Which we shouldn't be. We shouldn't be at all. But the black woman, a lot of them, they don't give a shit. Alright? They don't give a goddamn about you. They only care about themselves. Not all of them, but the majority of them. That's the harsh reality of it. it we wouldn't be divided, okay? If the black woman did what the fuck she was supposed to do. You hear all kinds of shit about what the black man need to do. You don't hardly hear shit about what the black woman need to do. You call a black woman a bitch, you the scum of the goddamn earth. But let another black woman call her a bitch. Ha ha ha, that shit is funny. You know? You ain't gonna hear another black woman say, Hey, she shouldn't have called her a bitch or something like that. But you'll hear another black woman tell a black man, You shouldn't have called her no bitch. Hmm? Am I lying to you, brothers? Hell no, I ain't lying. Hell no, I'm bitter with enough women, okay? I done been with enough women, this damn thing kind of bothering me a little bit. I'm sweating too. But anyway, I'm, I'm dating enough women. And I know the black woman, okay? A lot of them. Hell yeah, I've been with many, many different. I've been with white women too, I'm not lying to you. That's why I can't hate white folks, okay? Let's keep this shit real, alright? I'm bitter towards white folks. You fucking right I am. Ain't, that ain't no big secret. But I can't hate white folks, alright? Because that ain't my real goddamn enemy. White, the, the white pe the white folks is the goddamn slaves just like us. Alright? They are slaves just like us on this fucking planet. 
Follow.